Greetings and welcome to RuralVacantLand.com, where we have easy, cheap land priced 50 to 80% below the competition. Today I'd like to show you a 2.8 acre property in Imperial County, California. Maybe if we zoom out, we can zoom in and see where this, where this property is at. We're in Southern California. Here's the Salton Sea. You can see just to the north. Here's San Diego. Los Angeles is up here. And Phoenix is if you keep going down this way. Actually this way. They kind of both go to Phoenix. Um, Mexicali, Calexico is down here. If you want to go down to Baja, I, I like that route. But the reason I've spent time in this area is the... I like to take my kids to the Sunny Bono um, Nature Preserve, the wildlife refuge in the southern end of this lake. It's amazing the kinds of birds you can see there. Thousands and thousands of birds. One side of the park is fresh water coming into the lake or the sea, and on the other side is the seawater, salt water. And so you get all kinds of birds, salt water and freshwater birds in the same park that migrate through here in massive numbers, like ridiculous numbers. But enough of that. It's just, just the nature in the area is amazing. Um, this property is off to the side of the of the uh, of the sea and these mountains that you can see from the property I mean you can this valley is very mountainous all the way around the valley you see lots of mountains around this valley north up the valley you have Palm Springs and south down the valley you have um, you got agriculture coming through lots of this valley that's fed by Colorado River water and the extra water goes into the Salton Sea but these mountains here um, I'd like to, to show you uh, a little bit later as we get into it. Uh, maybe I can pull up some, some pictures. Um, the Fish Mountains, I think, I think they're called. Let's see if I can get some pictures. But these, these mountains just stand up out of the desert, so you get a really dr you know, dramatic backdrop behind the property. And these mountains are very steep, and they catch, uh, they catch rain you know they catch the clouds and so humidity hits these things and comes down the mountains and this is a very dry hot area so water is a big thing um, so water hits these mountains and goes down the ravines of these mountains that are really deep like so deep that the sun doesn't get to a lot of it so the water stays year round these mountains have water year round and they are bureau land management um, they're not natural natural parks or something is Bureau of Land Management. You can camp here, you can hunt here, you can hike, you can go explore, you can use this like it's your own land really. So this is the backdrop to your property. The front you've got the sea, the fishing for tilapia is amazing. There's still some tutuava in the lake I hear guys talk about it, but I don't think anyone's caught one in a couple of years. Um, but the tilapia, the African tilapia, I mean, there's two or three different kinds of tilapia in there. I mean the limit's like 50 a day and you kind of have to be a retard not to catch that many. I mean, it's more like you're trying to catch the bigger ones, not the smaller ones. It's that kind of fishing. You try to get past the little ones to get to the big ones. So if you like tilapia, I mean, this sea is, is full. It's like so many of them, you just about walk on them when you go there. Um, and then beyond that, as you go past the fish mountains here, Fish Creek Mountains, that animals live off of the fresh water in those mountains so you can hunt. You get into state game or state park, which I don't think you can hunt in, uh, but you can still hike and I'm not sure about the camping, but you can off road in the state lands. Um, whereas the Bureau of Land Management, they don't want you to off road, but you can off road over here. So if you like off roading, a lot of this area is open to off roading and the uh, Anza Borrego area over here, the state park, has all kinds of canyons and mountains and meadows, wildflowers in the spring, um, lots of dinosaur bones. People love to go here for to go dinosaur, you know, fossil collecting because this whole valley has a rich history of being a very um, luscious valley in the past that people would, you know, not people but you know, lots of animals lived in. And they left their the remnants there, so that park's a great place to dig them up. You can you can pick them up and the uh, dirt roads you drive around the park all kinds of things so enough of that let's go look at the price of the property 
this is my favorite part. It's 2.8 acres in Imperial County. So I searched the whole county, anything between two and three acres, you know, looking for the same size kind of properties. The cheapest thing I can find is $6,000 for the whole county, anywhere in the county. It's just 2.53 acres in Neyland for $6,000. I'm asking $2,500 for this 2.8 acres that I've got up for sale. It's less than half of anything in the county. Um, so I think this is price to move, it's price to go. Let's look at where we're at. Um, let's zoom in on this thing. You can see the property lines on Google Maps. Um, I'll put a link in, in my website, ruralvacantland.com. You can click on that or put the GPS numbers from below into Google Maps. And you can see the 2.8 acres here and you can click on the corners to get the GPS coordinates of the corners. And uh, you can go there and look it up on your phone and walk these GPS coordinates, you know, and see what the, the square is by figuring out where the four corners are on your computer. Write that down, go out there, use your phone and go walk the thing and see if you like it. Um, here's more of a, a picture of it. As you zoom out, you can see there's there's some roads here. Let me let me do this a little different way. Um, so if you zoom back, there's Calexico has all kinds of supplies. Brawley has a little bit. El Centro has more more supplies. So El Centro and um, Desert Desert Hot Springs and up here there's WalMarts and Home Depots in either direction. Um, this is the Anza Brego State Desert State Park I was just telling you about. They don't have the BLM land marked on here. Um, I'll show you that in a sec. But that that uh, bird sanctuary nature refuge is like this whole bottom third of the lake and all along the shore is just birds, birds, and birds. So even if you're not interested in this property, it's a fun place to stop. Any one of these, these parks. Um, let's go to wilderness.net. This is where you can map out the parks. So the property is in, in this general region. The Fish Mountains, Fish Creek Mountains Wilderness is what it's called. This is the one I was telling you about that you can hunt in. It's got water year round. And you add water to the desert and animals just happen. You know, so you could hunt deer, rabbits, and you know, all kinds of different birds like chucker and th the list goes on and on um, as your creativity allows. So there's different patches of of uh, BLM land around that you can hunt on, but this Anza Borrego you can off-road on. So you can't off-road on these, but you can hunt. And here you can't hunt, but you can off-road. And so you can pick your poison, right? Go for it in any direction. Um, let's move on. I pulled up Fish Creek because I thought that was an interesting one. It's one of the closer, neat ones that isn't advertised. You're not going to hear about it anywhere without going and knowing about it and looking it up. And this is the one I was saying. You, know, you can't drive your dirt bike on it but you can go hunting you can ride your horse and you can hunt and that's that's I think that's something special here's pictures of Fish Creek it's got these wild rocks with holes in them and I think that's that's where the uh, the water's hiding um, here's a Sunny Bono uh, wildlife refuge I was telling you about on, on the Salton Sea and here's just some pictures of the birds I mean this is more of how I I remember taking the kids here um, hiking around, it's just fun hiking and seeing, you know, so many different kinds of birds in one setting. It gets, uh, it gets to be kind of unbelievable. But it's this is this is the area. I mean, these birds come here because the weather's perfect, and there's lots of there's lots to eat. You know, this sea is full of fish. It's just stocked with fish, and uh, that's that's just the way it is. Here's a, here it is, Sunny Bono Salton Sea National Wildlife Refuge. They've got a parking lot and a bathroom and stuff there if you ever want to stop in. It's a picnic table. It's a good spot to picnic. Um, yeah, here's the hike that they have. They've got a lookout here with like, uh, you know, signs that tell you what all the mountains are and the, the geothermal power plants. There's geothermal power plants in the area. Um, here's some more birds and birds, 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 and birds. So let's move on. Anza Borrego, this is to the west of the property. Anza Borrego has amazing, amazing scenery. Um, I think it's a, it's the kind of park that should be up there at the top of your hit list. And not just for one spot in the park. I mean, there's so many different places and different times of the year. Like in the spring when the flowers go off, it's, 
you almost need your sunglasses just to look at the flowers. The colors are so bright. Um, this could be could be an amazing scene. And different colors, rocks, and different um, elevations, different places to go explore. It's a really big park. And I think a fun one to, to live around. So I pulled up the taxes on this property. Um, Imperial County uh, Tax Collector. If you Google that, you can pull up pull up the taxes on any of the properties you're looking at in Imperial County. And this one ha actually has $50 that hasn't been paid in taxes. I'll pay that before um, it transfers to you. And so you buy it you know, free and clear with no taxes. But the idea was that I wanted to show you that the taxes are $51 a year is what they've been. Fifty one sixty six was to was 2015. You know, so I think pretty low taxes. And if you're interested in this property, you can go to my website, ruralvacantland.com. And you can check out online, answer a couple questions, and you can put it on a credit card. I'll pay all the fees to get it recorded and uh, turned over to your name in short order. If uh, you want to buy it on terms, you don't want to pay for everything right away, but you want to make payments over time, I'm open to that too. Give me a call. Um, contact information is on my website. And if you want other properties like this, um, there's a subscribe tab on my website. You can put your email and your name in there and um, subscribe for updates for on other properties like this as well. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching and hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.